The dumplings deserve a dumping. Welcome back to Disney Yay. again today. Yay. Mike's excited to be back at Disney, aren't you, Mike? Oh yeah, always. I didn't think he was that excited, but now we're finding out he's excited. Who, who would have guessed? Mike excited to be at Disney? We're back at Disney for some Morimoto Asia today. We're going to do the indoor seated dining at Morimoto Asia. I'm Dave Kay. We've eaten outside at Morimoto Asia before and we didn't love it. It was a long time ago. It was very unpleasant. Mike has tried inside eating there. He loved it. He's recommending it. And so now we're gonna try it ourselves. Let's do it. And here we are back at Disney Springs. You can see it's a nightlife vibe here. So it's later in the evening. A little darker, but you have some lights lighting you up and there are some crowds, but it's not crazy. Not right here at least. Gotta watch out walking through security, but overall not bad. Let's get some Morimoto Asia here. So here's the outside street food spot, Morimoto. Not our favorite last time, but we'll see how it is inside here today. You've seen the outside decor, but if you look at the handle, I hadn't noticed this in the past, the door handle is engraved. You can see as you step inside, engraved door handle. Those characters are actually engraved into the structure. And this is a look before we were seated for our reservation around the lobby area. Love their Christmas tree right here. Looking forward to giving it a shot as soon as our reservation is ready. Not quite yet, but momentarily we'll get some food. This is the Morimoto Asia menu. Everything from noodles and rice to meat and poultry, small plates, sushi. The sushi does seem to be fairly expensive up here, but then you have the sushi rolls below it. A variety of options. Here's the pictures. It's right out front to look at that menu while you're waiting for your reservation. So nice setup. We'll have to figure out what sounds good. I do like some of those noodle sounds. We're a bit early for our reservation. So walking around, sharing some of the sights and sounds of Disney Springs with you from STK and the palm trees, which we walked to get here, but we walked quickly and then found out we're gonna be waiting for a minute. So Paradiso 37, so many great restaurants to try in the future. Here's a menu for them on our left, at least a quick look menu and so many more to try and check out before our dinner time. But nice to spend some time out here and check out the vibes. In case you're looking for some delicious food options in Disney Springs, I will say the T-Rex restaurant is a fantastic option. You have to love the styling and the design of the restaurant in addition to their food. Really great stuff last time we were here. We'll have to try more in the future. Tonight, it doesn't seem like they're too, too crowded. I don't know how late they're open. They might not be open much later, but nice vibe to it. And here's that front entrance. It does seem a bit longer at the front entrance. So the line doesn't quite go back here, but there are people at the front waiting to step inside. You can see that range vehicle, the T-Rex skeleton over top. Beautiful decorations inside and out. The T-Rex restaurant, definitely worth stopping in if you're looking for some nice food in Disney Springs. Making our way towards the world of Disney. I love the waterfront view. Beautiful to see the colored water and the dragon here. And we're passing the Lego building as well. Nice to take a look around all this area. Look at these holiday dogs. I believe I've shared them with you before, but I'm not 100% sure. You've got the two kids on either side and the two in front of me. Are they made out of a giant peanuts? Is that what this is? Donut eyeballs and other food items. Look at those feet. I feel like those are chestnuts maybe, walnuts. Wow, they're nut-based dogs for the holidays. I like it. By the world of Disney, this entrance over here, Mike has been talking about visiting Amaretz. One of these days, I'm sure we'll try some of their pastries, but this is what the restaurant looks like by world of Disney. I've heard good things and I'm just appreciating the ambiance and the views before our reservation. Just walking around Disney Springs around the holiday season and give you an idea of the crowds here as well. You can see what I'm seeing on and off, it seems. We're here at Amaretz by the window, seeing them prepare the food. Mike has tried it, apparently, and they have small ones that they're making. That woman you can see in the middle is making the small ones. He said he's tried it. He said it's the best dessert it sounds like ever. Mike, is it the best dessert ever? It's up there, let me tell you. It's it's hard to describe how good this one is. It's unique flavor and the chocolate is just so well made. You can tell they are expert chocolatiers. And they do have the line to prove it. Maybe, maybe we'll come back for dessert. We'll see, there are so many great options. But you know me and the sugary stuff, so. Is it, is it worth it? Is it? The other side of World of Disney, the Stitch side, some might say Michelle side of World of Disney has Basin further down the way and Girardelli 
you know Girardelli is a classic, a favorite, delicious Sunday ice cream spot. If you're looking for some dessert items, I can't recommend too much sugary stuff, but you know, if you're looking for sugary stuff, this is definitely a top contender here. Uh-oh, here's a quick look inside Girardelli. Uh, not sure what we're doing in here, um, but they have the chocolates on this side as well as the shakes, which we love. A couple of new ones, Gold Rush and Nacho Sunday sound really good. One of these days, I'm sure we'll try them all. Just considering dessert options for now or for another time. These Sunday ornaments are very cool. Look at that. Looks like a Sunday. Hangs from your tree. You've got an advent calendar as well and a variety of bags. Some great deals on chocolate bags in the store. Love it. Nice to see all the options available for the holiday season. There's a gift shop by Earl of Sandwich and a lefty store, by the way, for left-handed people I'd never seen before. And there's a carousel, of course. I mean, I could spin around all day and show you different things, but I was showing you the wreath and the holiday decor on this shop by the Earl of Sandwich. And Earl of Sandwich is a favorite quick service if you're looking for a great one to take some sandwiches on the go. Lots of good options. Walking into the restaurant reminds me so much more of the movie Inception, maybe. That intro scene where they met one of those original characters or just a very elaborate restaurant. Love how it looks. Looking forward to giving it a shot. On the walls, a variety of paintings, artwork, decorations. It looks like, I'm not sure where these characters or these individuals are from, but more of the view. Look at those boxes up there. Very cool seating location. These chandeliers hanging from us. All very beautiful, elaborate design around us here at Morimoto Asia. Excited to give the food a shot and let you know. We just found out their complimentary photos with dining at Morimoto as well. Very interesting. They'll take three photos for you. You can change your poses and we'll see how those photos come out. But nice that they do that here at Morimoto. This is a full rack of ribs, Morimoto Asia ribs. Looks delicious. They're not huge ribs, but they do look tasty with some brown stuff on them and some cilantro. Here's the rice with these dumplings. The rice does not come with the dumplings, it comes with the ribs. But the dumplings look fantastic as well. Look at that as an appetizer because we were really hungry. So we're gonna dig in here and let you know what we think of it all. And this is the duck ramen. Look at that duck ramen. You have a variety of meats and veggies. Is that a lemon in there? Or is it egg? It's an egg. Looks awesome. Excited to give this one a shot. Or Michael, let us know what he thinks. That's what's gonna happen. Let's do it. Reviewing everything here. Starting us off with the dumplings. Overall, I would say the dumplings are okay. I would not get them again. I feel like I could get better dumplings if I go to Trader Joe's or just get standard dumplings somewhere else. So I would skip those personally. I do feel like a lot of items here are on the pricier side. So especially for the price, I'd probably skip those dumplings, least of the three favorites of the three items here. Next up is the duck ramen, which I felt was good. It was not bad, but not the best ramen I've had by any means. The soup and the noodles have a nice flavor to them, a unique duck soaked flavor, seeing as it's duck ramen, but Again, not the best ramen I've ever had. I probably wouldn't get that one again either, quite honestly, because there are so many great food options out there. Now, in my opinion, the ribs are the best item here. They have a really unique styling. They're crispy, fried, I believe. They have a delicious, spicy, Korean barbecue, maybe, style cooking. Overall, not bad. I could see getting those barbecue ribs again, but unlikely to intentionally aim for Morimoto specifically for those ribs. Although again, they're the best item, they're good, and if you're here, of the three, that is the one I recommend. That being said, I can't really rant and rave about any item here today. And we'll see if I come back. It's most definitely better than the street food, but probably still not something I would prioritize doing again. Michael, your thoughts? The dumpling, I agree. It's not quite there. It's just very standard, very typical dumpling. That, not something I'd get again. Not bad, but not something I'd get again. The duck ramen is good. I like it a lot. I think that the duck flavor in there really enhances it quite a bit. The winner, by far, by far, by leaps and bounds, and my favorite is that rib. Love those ribs so, so much. I love them so much, I want to come out of my way for them. That's me, different opinions, that's okay. But the rib flavor, the, the glaze on the outside and the way it falls off the bone, to me, is just fantastic. I'm th still thinking about best ribs at Disney. It's, it's up there. I'm just, for me, it's up there. In my opinion, it's hard to compare these to standard ribs, but I, if I had to pick immediately right now, I don't think they're best ribs by any means. I don't think they're in that league 
It's been a while, but we've had some great ones. Rainforest Cafe and more, so probably not, but they're solid. I could get them again. For a after dinner dinner or another entree after our appetizer entree items, we have the pepperoni pizza sandwich from Earl of Sandwich. Love Earl of Sandwich. Looking forward to trying this flavor. And if you look at the price difference between Morimoto and Earl of Sandwich, there's a, a pretty reasonable discrepancy in there. Excited to dig into this one, let you know what we think. I'm excited to try more of their flavors. A lot of the menu looks really good. Never heard of this one. They have a today's special stamp. So that might mean this is a limited time thing or something they're just starting to develop. So maybe we'll be able to let you know, one of the first people to let you know how the pepperoni pizza sandwich is. Let's do it. Here's the inside. Looks like a pepperoni pizza. Mike's reacting like it's amazing. So I'm excited to give this one a shot, let you know. Will it beat out the Hawaiian barbecue for me or some of those other great flavors? Only time will tell. And like five seconds after these messages. So we tried the pepperoni pizza sandwich here at the Earl of Sandwich and the official review for you now. Let's do it. We both thought the Earl of Sandwich pepperoni pizza sandwich was pretty good. It was not bad. It's not our favorite Earl of Sandwich sandwich. We've had quite a few varieties and flavors, not as many as we'd like probably but it's not one of our favorites. It's probably one of our lesser favorites. It doesn't quite taste like a full pepperoni pizza to me, in my opinion. A little bit light on the flavorfulness of the pepperoni and the cheese, quite honestly. It's a bready, cheesy sandwich, but not extremely flavorful. So I don't think I would get that one again. I love so many sandwiches here. I'm gonna try one of those old favorites or try something new. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun today. What did you think of today's adventure? If you liked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let us know you liked it. Ring that subscribe bell. But uh, first, I'm gonna hit the subscribe button. So it's the button first and then the bell. Unless you already hit the button and then not so much the button, but just the bell. So <laughs> if it's red, hit it. If it's gray, no, no. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with us today. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And hit the like button. Let us know you liked it. Until next time, play on. We're back at Disney for some Morimoto Asia. This is, you don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to. There's a gift shop. You good? Was I supposed to stay there or? Okay. This is a full rack of pork dumplings. It's six dumplings, not dumplings at all. The dumplings deserve a dumping. I could take a dumping on those dumplings.